The Sumatran rainforest is home to a wide variety of animals. Because so many species live here, we are certain there are many more waiting to be discovered. One animal you mustn't miss is the elephant. Elephants are the biggest animals in this forest. The people of Sumatra call elephants the kings of the jungle. Today, their kingdom has almost completely vanished, cut down for farms and plantations. My name is Budi. I live in a village called Tangkahan, on the outskirts of Mark Leuser in North Sumatra. My father is a forest ranger in the dispatcher team. He's a mahout as we call them here, an elephant charmer. During school holidays, I often help him at work. As they are squeezed out of their natural habitat, elephants seek the shelter of preserved regions in Sumatra. At present, only a few hundred beasts live in safety in the forests of Taman Nasional Gunung Leusa. On Mount Leusa National Park, Leusa's ecosystem is one of the few remaining safe habitats for the Sumatran elephant. But the future of the elephant and all the animals on this island is under threat. Meet Ardana, my dad's elephant. She's a female elephant. She's about 30 years old. My father says he and Ardana have been together since the day she was captured. And that was before I was even born. My mother gets jealous of all the attention my dad gives to the elephant. An elephant will obey one mahout all her life. Other keepers can control them up to a point, but only the elephant's own mahout can handle her if she's tired or angry. My dad taught me to ride Ardana when I was little. I'm not afraid of her. She's like my big sister. I know she will protect me from harm. Dad says, in the forest, there are lots of plants we can use for medicine and food. As well as elephants, there are also tons of other wild animals, like hornbills, orangutans, rhinos, and even tigers. Water is essential to elephants. They bathe to cool off their bodies and protect their sensitive hides against parasites and skin diseases. We bathe them every day. It's hard work. You can't imagine how difficult it is to scrub the entire body of such big elephant. Food is also very important. A single elephant alone can eat up to 150 kilograms of food in one day. 
Their droppings also help to fertilize the soil. Anything going to Ardana's belly will come out. This is the worst job of all. In the forest, Ardana can take care of herself. But when she comes out, she can get ill really easily. Routine health inspections by a vet are crucial for elephants and other livestock which live amongst humans, away from their natural habitat. An elephant's mental health is just as important as its physical health. Like people, elephants like to be active, foraging for food and rearing their young. They get depressed when they're idle for long periods of time. Ardana and her friends seem happy when visitors arrive. They enjoy taking them for a walk in the forest and along the riverbank. They are happiest playing in the forest. Visitors also get to enjoy the beauty of the forest. And on their way home, they pass through village to buy souvenirs of their trip. The elephant is a very intelligent animal, probably on a level with orangutans and dolphins. They are known to be introspective and to be able to differentiate colors and shapes. Research has also shown that elephants can communicate with other elephants over great distances. And that they have a very complex system of social interaction. I like playing football, but an elephant looks like a clown when it kicks a ball. I'd rather watch an elephant lifting a tree with its trunk. Their intelligence and immense physical stature makes them perfect guardians of the forest. Even illegal loggers are intimidated if they encounter an elephant. Ardana's done very well today at work. It doesn't seem fair for Dad to keep her in chains, but he says he doesn't have any choice. I'm very sad to see that. Wild elephants face many dangers. Every year, illegal logging and deforestation to open up the land for crops destroys the forest that elephants need to survive. Hungry elephants are forced to steal food from plantations in villages. Anything not edible gets trampled under their giant feet. To protect their crops, farmers will shoot rogue elephants. Many elephants and other animals are also found poisoned close to plantations. The endangered Sumatran elephant is seen as a pest. My dad says we're lucky that he works in the national park. In our village, it's getting harder to make a living. The weather's hot and dry, and the rain is late. The river is so polluted that there are not many fish to catch. Vegetables don't grow as well as they used to. Deforestation is affecting everyone's way of life, even those who live far away on the riverbanks. My teacher said the forest collects rainfall during the monsoon season so that our village will always have fresh water. He also said that the river used to be the focal point for many families in Sumatra, but nowadays 
It's polluted by chemicals and pesticides used in farming. We need to realize that nature will not always be able to supply us with water, oxygen, food and natural beauty if we continue to destroy it. The time has come when we must decide our fate. When I grow up, I will be a forest ranger or a mahout, just like my dad. If not, I will have to work on a palm oil plantation like my uncle. Although keeping and protecting elephants has its rewards for people like these, in the long term, it will not ensure the elephant's continued existence on the island of Sumatra. Only good judgment and prudence will secure the fate of what's left of the rainforest. Without the rainforest, elephants and other animals can't live. We will also suffer if there is no rainforest. I hope in the future that there still be rainforest left in Sumatra for us. <laughs>